let's go ahead and start this up. Back at Temple Temple. What do I do now? I can't believe Maya and I were actually found guilty. Yeah, I know. We we already saw this. I already understand we were... D thanks. Thanks. For, like, the 30 to 40 second recap of something that I literally just saw. Thanks. Cool. <clears throat> I'm, am I really gonna watch this entire thing? Come on, game. M -m 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 Mr. Wright! I'll be. I saw the whole trial. What's going to happen to Miss Maya now? I'm worried about that too, but right now, Oh yeah, the other murder. Yeah, more of the, uh, the fingerprints were on there. I feel, I don't know, that feels bad. I think they knocked her out, put her fingerprints on it, and then used it to kill people. Bam. Right now, I need to focus on the next trial. The murder of, uh, Acolyte Zealot, right? What? Oh, okay, so Zealot is the one who's dead now. Is it the wife? What if it's the wife? What if the wife found out he was a rebel and then decided he needed to die? Oh my god, they would never suspect the pregnant woman. At least the jury's still out on that one, so to speak. Two murders are most likely connected. If I can get to the bottom of Acolyte Zealot's murder, it might give me the ammunition I need to overturn Maya's guilty verdict. Let me help you investigate. I want to assist you any way I can. I appreciate it, Albi, but we're talking about a murder. Yeah, but it's going to be hard for a foreigner to investigate on his own. <sighs> you do have a point there. Hmm, I wish I knew what to do. Oh, hey, Rafa. Hmm, isn't that uh, your benevolence? Um, Princess Rafa? Hmm? Oh, it is you again. The dead lawyer walking guilty of abetting a murder under the Defense Culpability Act. Ugh, see, she hasn't lost any of her charm. Why the long face? I thought you'd be glad I was found guilty under the DC Act. Hmm. I am in no mood to take joy in your suffering. For I was unable to defeat you and had to leave the job to others. I failed in my sacred duty as the royal priestess. Guess that answers my question. Have I misunderstood the voice of the- yeah, you did. Yeah, yet again. And then you faint. Very dramatic. All I did was defend my client. Ugh, I can't bear to see her looking so sad like this, though. You remind me of my daughter when she was younger and also sad, so I need to make you less sad. No, fuck that. No more flashbacks. I am actually, like, Zunder, I'm sorry. This game, the longer I play it, the lower on the list it goes of games in the Ace Attorney series that I enjoy playing. Like, I don't know. It's right now it's on par with uh, Apollo Justice, which is bad because that's pretty low on the list. Your benevolence. Your benevolence. Hmm? Oh, uh, barbed head. I thought you had already begun your journey to the Twilight Realm. I'm not dead yet. I still have an investigation to do for tomorrow's trial. W what's this? Do you mean to say you have not given up yet? That's right. I'm going to prove Maya innocent tomorrow. Like, is it still the original writers or is it somebody different for this game? Because it just, something about it feels off. Like, 
I really, it feels like they're milking this game and I don't like that. Like, I never like the feeling that something is being drawn out intentionally just to give it more play time. But I'm, I'm getting that from this just because there's a lot of dialogue that's completely unnecessary. Mostly from Nayuta, but you know. And I get it, they need to hammer in the point that he's a fucking crazy religious nut, but come on. I'm going to prove my innocent tomorrow. But why? Why do you refuse to give up? I cannot fathom such obstinacy. Investigate all you want, I care not. You really don't mind? But aren't you worried that a lawyer backed into a corner by the DC Act might do something desperate like forge evidence? What's this? If left unsupervised, I'd be free to do whatever I wanted, you know. Ugh. Okay, now to see if she takes the bait. Yes, I see your point. Barbed head. Yes? I know what happened yesterday. You perpetrated some sort of fraud or other misdeed while I was not watching. Huh? That explains why I misunderstood the voice of the High Priest's soul. Yes, of course! That's the only explanation! I was just trying to cheer her up. Now she thinks even less of me. I must not allow you to sully our sacred hall of justice with your misdeeds ever again. Therefore, today I will be monitoring your every move once more. I will not fail to spot your misdeeds this time. The moment I see anything out of the ordinary, I will send you straight to prison. And you, boy, do not throw your lot in with this foreign devil. But, but your benevolence. It's okay, Albie, you don't need to worry about me. I'll be back before you know it. But first, I should probably lighten my load a bit. Albie, would you mind holding on to some evidence for me? Of course not, I'm always glad to help. Unnecessary evidence unloaded onto Albi. Cool. May the Holy Mother's blessing be upon you. Uh, now then. The scene of the crime is the logical place to start. That sounds a bit weird out of concept. Yeah, here, carry my useless junk. Yeah. Dang. Phoenix never told anybody that he has ED. If I recall correctly, the body was found at the Plaza of Devotion. So we're going to the Plaza of Devotion. Oh, he just, he's straight up, he was there the whole time, I guess. Plaza of Devotion. Looks like the police already finished their investigation. To think someone would be killed here, a place devoted to prayer. A body outline and flowers? Did someone leave here? Leave them here in the memory of the deceased? Hmm? And there's something different about the prayer flags today. As the High Priest's disciple, Alkalite Zealot was utterly devoted to his training. First the High Priest, and now his devoted disciple, Maya Fey, will pay for this. As I keep trying to tell you, Maya has nothing to do with any of this. And you can prove this how? What do you think I'm doing here? Gathering dirt and dust for the trial? You and your smart mouth. This is precisely why you and your lawyerly ilk are so reviled. Hey, Mr. Wright! Oh, it's Emma! Hi, Emma. Emma! It's that detective from your country again. It, it, it's the princess! You seem displeased that I am here. She is. I love Emma so much. Thank you, Emma, for being there. I mean, I, I'm, I'm kind of enjoying the interactions with, um, with the princess and Phoenix more now that she's lightening up. Um, 
but yeah, like the it was kind of like pulling teeth dealing with her in that very first trial. And the 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 problem is she's already getting better, but Nayuta is getting worse. And I and I'm just like, wow, do you just really want me to like hate this guy? Oh, no, 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 don't be silly, Mr. Wright. I'm uh I'm so sorry about what happened to you and Maya. It's not your fault, Emma. You were just doing your job. And if I had just done mine... Mr. Wright... But it's no use crying over spilled milk. Would you mind telling me what you know about the murder? This Emma is the best of the three, four if we count investigations. Ah. But she's a lot more mature now, and, and she's very helpful. I mean, granted, I did like her when she was small and she was like, do the blood thing. And we're like, yes. It's do or die in court tomorrow. And I mean that literally. Gladly, I'll help in any way I can. Remember, I have my eyes on the both of you. So see to it that you commit no misdeeds. Yeah, exactly. I, I do enjoy the fact that she's acting more herself than just as an extension. Uh, of course not. Hm. You're talking to a professional here. The incident. Let's see, how about starting with an overview of what happened? Sure. The victim is... You know what? You know what? I thought that the pun in his name was Zealot. It's not Zealot. I wish it was. I just fucking realized that the pun is praise a lot. I fucking hate this game. This is on the bottom of the list now. Apollo Justice. You've been redeemed somewhat. Fuck you, praise a lot. He was the High Priest's disciple. His body was discovered around noon today, right after the rite wrapped up. So during the High Priest's murder trial. I hate it. It's the worst, actually. That's right. Apparently, he had been here praying since the day before the rite even started. Talk about serious devotion. Yeah, I barely lasted a few minutes. Dang. You don't just tell anybody that, right? Keep, keep that on the down low. This is a picture of Mr. Zalot's body. Ah! Damn! They stabbed him like, ouch! Not in the back! <laughs> yeah, that looks really painful! Oh, his peach is showing. Oof. Like, that's directly in his spine, right? That's gotta be some force, especially since it's not turned sideways. Hmm? Is that a tattoo on the back of his neck? It's each shaped Everyone started leaving when the praying, praying was finally done, but the victim remained bent over in prayer. And when they went over to check on him, they discovered he was, they discovered he was dead, right? I mean, I did they not notice the knife in his back? Yeah, exactly. Yes, the estimated time of death is May 9th, sometime between the start of the rite and the discovery of the high priest's body. In other words, we believe the crime took place during the purification rite. And the murder weapon was the same ceremonial dagger that killed the high priest. The prosecution believes Maya came down the stairs after killing the high priest and then stabbed Mr. Zealot with the same deck. What? No! Circumstantial evidence does point to Maya, but... Uh, what about the cause of death? He apparently died instantly from the dagger that was left thrust into his upper back. Here's the autopsy report. Zealot's autopsy report added to the court record. Was it? Yeah, a spinal cord injury from being stabbed in the upper back by a bladed weapon. Ouch. Estimated time of death, you say? How can you know such a thing? I want to know. Well, Barbed Head, out with it. 
Oh, so the princess of the spirit medium kingdom is interested in forensic science. Mm. Hmm. I have no interest in science, forensic or otherwise. Nevertheless, I will someday be queen. As such, it would be wise to know what silly things the, like that the common folk believe in. Wow, like science? I can't believe the common folk believe in fucking science. Can you guys? Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing silly about it. I'll have you know, even Prosecutor Sadmati holds forensics in high regard. Two related cases, and they didn't want to end a case with a forced guilty verdict. Yeah, I guess. Does he? Hmm. Uh, perhaps I should not underestimate the power of science. Still, I suppose it is nothing much compared to the divination seance. She really doesn't have an adorable bone in her body. Uh, Emma, I think she's actually interested. Would you mind explaining it to her? I guess I have to now. Okay, there are many ways to estimate the time of death, but the most well-known method uses the change in body temperature. Interesting. Yeah, localization team. Ugh. Body temperature drops at a steady rate from the moment a person dies. That means we can tell how long someone's been dead by measuring their temperature. Hmm, I see, I see. That was quite enlightening. Barbed head, present your forehead now. What? Uh, why? Hmm, you feel just a little over 95 degrees. It seems you are not dead yet. Wow, thanks! <laughs> of course I'm not! Hmm, <laughs> It was but a jest. After all, you're still the dead lawyer walking. I failed to see the humor in any of this. Yeah, she got jokes. This teenager got jokes. Well, don't worry, I've been hit by a car. I can take your dumb 14 year old jokes. Uh, were there any witnesses? So many people here at the plaza, you'd think somebody would have seen something. You'd think so, wouldn't you? We haven't found a single witness. How is that even possible? Because everyone was bent over, utterly devoted to prayer, naturally. Oh, right, the back-shattering pose that nearly killed me. Still, you'd think someone would have noticed something. I thought so too, but, uh... With the monk's scarf he had on... No one could see the dagger in his upper back. Wait, what? Wait, do I have a picture of him before? Because I didn't even notice that there were... Man, now I wish I had paid more attention back then. I feel like you would have noticed something like that sticking out of somebody's back. But what do I know? Sounds like bullshit. Slapped by an eight-year-old. Yeah, true. Well... Yeah, well, it's because he keep... T because Pearls kept on thinking that me and Maya were an illegitimate relationship, and we weren't. Pearls, calm down. Stop watching all those soap operas. Telenovelas. Plus, everyone was so absorbed in prayer, they didn't see or hear anything. Can't believe this. What you choose to believe is your choice, but the fact remains there were no witnesses. However, there is one piece of irrefutable evidence... The dagger. Uh, sadly, yes. Ugh. Could you tell me about the murder weapon? The killer used the Warbad dagger, the legendary weapon of Lady Kira. It was discovered impaled in the victim's lower or upper back. The accused fingerprints were found on the dagger, were they not? Uh, yes, they were. But how were they on there? Were they on there in the underhanded grip or an overhanded grip? With such irrefutable evidence, there is no questioning the accused's guilt. Not so fast. What about a motive? Maya had no reason to kill Acolyte Zealot. What do the police think about this matter? The motive. What do you got for me, Emma? Maya had no reason to kill Acolyte Zealot. She had no reason to kill anybody, honestly. 
So you say, but let us now hear what the police think about the matter. Yeah, we just said that. The police believe Maya is the Lady Kira figure who has been battling the rebels. And since Mr. Zealot was the disciple of the high priest, who turned out to be a rebel, he too was likely a rebel and therefore met the same untimely demise as his teacher. Yes, that is how the police currently view this crime. There's no way Maya is that Lady Kira vigilante. I agree on a personal level, but the police are just going with what today's trial concluded. Ugh. I really blew it in court today. Well. Time to examine. Acolyte Zealot bent over in prayer. There's no trace of blood on the ground, though. The fact that there's so little bleeding could mean it was a single stab to a vital point. Not that... Not that that would have been very difficult considering the position he was in. Oh, well, sorry, Zunder. I guess you're gonna look at it again. So these flowers were left here in memory of Acolyte Zealot. What are they called? They are known as Namanda, and they are given to express sorrow when a life is lost. Seems offerings of flowers in memory of the dead is a universal practice. Expresses heartfelt sympathy. Okay. Acolyte Zealot was killed in a prayer pose. With his head bent over like that, the last thing he saw must have been this rug. It is a prayer rug woven by devout monks. May the Holy Mother's blessing be upon his departed soul. Strange that there were no bloodstains, though. Hmm. Perhaps it was so cold his blood froze. Or perhaps it was absorbed by his vestment. It is pretty cold. Maybe the blood really did just freeze inside his body. That's not how that works. Emma, tell her. Use science on her. To think I would witness a lawyer being allowed to pass through this sacred gate. Yeah, well, I wouldn't unless I had to. Those stairs were brutal to climb. What's this? Do you even know how many monks would give their lives to pass through that gate? Be thankful for the great honor you have been afforded. I yes, your benevolence. This prayer flag looks much newer than the rest. Um, your benevolence, what does it say here? The dearest wishes of our subjects are written upon these prayer flags. Reading the prayers of others is considered rude, but if you must know... It says, at the usual spot, bring grub the key, too. Hmm, that is one of the more direct and practical prayers I have ever seen. Um, I wonder if it's even a prayer. Brand new flag added to the court record. Has some writing on it. Hmm. Okay, well, that message on the prayer flag seems a little weird, but I think we've seen everything there is to see here. You have not found or heard anything of particular worth. <laughs> Are you ready to give up? No, I'm not calling it quits just yet. D does it look like you even have any hope of winning, Mr. Wright? Emma. I can't really say at this point. All I know is that I have to keep investigating. What are you two sneaks up to? I would advise you to get back to work if you are done here, detective. Otherwise, I will report you to Prosecutor Sadmadi for dereliction of duty. I, 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 I'm going, I'm going. Well, see you later, Mr. Wright, <laughs> and good luck. Dang, rude. I should really pay a visit to everyone and every place connected with this case. <laughs> Which means to the high priest house. High priest house, okay. Uh, hello, I'm sorry to bother you again, but, um... Oh! It's you. 
Barbed head, you are not contemplating casting suspicion of, upon Lady Belieb, are you? She lost her beloved husband, and now Al Acolyte Zealot, who was like a son to her. Of course I'm not, but since she was close to both victims, I wanted to hear what she has to say. Very well. And then there's the fact that Lady Kira didn't attack Miss Inmi. That probably means she isn't a rebel. Is this about poor Pere? Well, I'm sorry, but I don't think I can talk about that right now. But, but what about Maya? She's innocent. Maya? I heard that she was found guilty. First my dear husband, and now Pere? Miss Inmi, you don't really believe that Maya is the killer, do you? I... I don't know. But that was the verdict, so what else can I believe? What am I to do? The verdict was already reached in your husband's case. But the truth of the matter is yet to be found. How can you be so sure? Because I believe that Maya is innocent. That is all I have right now. My faith in her. So please, help me understand what happened. So you're... you're defending her based solely on faith? Even though you'll be punished for abetting the accused? That's right. Uh, all right, then. Your faith has moved me. I will tell you what I can. Uh, 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 are you sure about this, Lady Belieb? My lovely wife is also a devout follower of Koreanism. As such, she is not one to make light of another's faith. But if I find that you have lied about your faith in Maya Fey's innocence... I shall curse your entire family and all your disciples for the next eight generations. Hey, leave Athena and Apollo alone, buddy. <laughs> Dang. Hello. Arrays a lot. How did Acolyte Zalot end up living here as your husband's disciple? About two years ago, while my husband was at a spiritual retreat in the mountains. He came across Pere collapsed on the ground. That's when he brought him here. You were always one to help those in need, weren't you, dear? And he'd been living here ever since? About two years ago. That's around the same time Maya arrived in Korain. Yes, he was born into a poor village and had nowhere to call home. My husband felt pity for the boy so he took him in as a disciple. But not only as his disciple, he was like a member of our family, too. I see. If this is where Acolyte Zealot lived, there might be something I could learn about him lying around here. I don't know, maybe the picture of him? A photo of the high priest, his wife, Acolyte Zealot, and Maya. Since Maya's in it. Oh, and the keychain! Must have been taken the day before the rite. I should ask Miss Inmi about it. Wait, is was Miss Inmi the one who had the. that? They traded? Aww. Family photo added to the court record. That's. I'm pretty sure that's the little, like, Steel Samurai thing. But maybe it was somebody else. I don't know. To think that this would be their final family photo. That no good Maya Fey has some nerve. I mean, uh, here she is posing with the two men she would soon kill. I beg to differ. I see this photo as proof that she didn't kill them. Hmm. That smile of hers does not fool me. I sense a deep and abiding malice behind it. I'll prove Maya's smile is the real deal. Also, shut up. She's been in court like three times. She's never killed anybody. She's just very unlucky. Better than luck, yeah. Okay. Um. This game looks kind of like checkers or chess. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. You mean to say you have never heard of Kachudema? I don't know, because Maya's too good for this world, apparently. I have heard people describe it as Kurini's chess. So two players take turns moving their pieces in a bid to capture the other's king? 
Not quite. In Kachu de Mal, the object is the utter annihilation of your opponent. Furthermore, each piece has a special move that can only be used once per game. Special moves? Sounds like a game right up Maya's alley. Already checked out the bag. We already looked at that. I wish we could. It would make these games a lot easier. Barbed head, it appears you're quite fond of rummaging through the garbage. I just thought there might be some other important piece of evidence in here. Oh, is that right? Hmm. Look, I'm not doing this for fun, really. Doesn't look like there's anything else of interest in there. Actually, you know what? Taken the day before the right. Okay. Present. Can I ask you about this photo? It was taken during the Feast of Blessings the day before the rite was held. The Feast of Blessings? Would you mind telling me a little more about it? The day before. This photo is taken during the Feast of Blessings. Yes, we, we, we understand that. Feast of Blessings, yes. It is forbidden to eat during the days of the rite. So the day before it's performed, we enjoy dishes full of, um, uh, gingil. Is that like ginger? An herb known to strengthen the body and mind. You love the gingil-based dishes I make, didn't you, dear? Gingil? I heard you can go three days without sleeping after eating some. Yes, but many foreigners don't care for it because of its strong smell. Gingivitis. No! Make sure you use Listerine. Our customs say that these dishes can only be eaten the day before the purification rite. And only between noon and 3 p.m. That's pretty specific. Is it because the smell is too strong? A very good guess indeed. It is to ensure that the smell is gone by the time Lady Kira is welcome the next day. Wow, is it really that strong? Come to think of it, the evening before the murder, an overwhelming odor was all over town. It was like a cross between garlic and mint. After the Feast of Blessing, Hurray went over to the plaza and began his supplication. I never thought that would be the last time I would see him. What was Maya doing at the time? Shortly after Pere left, she went to the temple to prepare for the rite. I don't know what she did after that. The leave statement added to the court record. So, Acolyte Zealot went out to pray the afternoon before the rite. I, I guess it's Zealot. Because it's Pray Zealot, but yeah, I keep saying Zealot. According to the newspaper, the thick white ice that froze on the ground from the inner sanctum of the Plaza of Devotion until yesterday has melted. The rite can now go on as planned. We give thanks for the blessing of the Holy Mother and Lady Kira. Happy Rocky! Yeah, it was frozen over. Hooray always prayed a lot, far more than anyone I have ever known. He was a devout young man whose faith was twice as strong as others. I don't know why, but that's uh, kind of intimidating to me. Yeah. Oh, I thought I'd have made some progress by now, but I haven't come across any particularly insightful information even here. Yeah, I never would have guessed, honestly. You seem disappointed. Miss Inmi, is there anything else you could tell me? Forgive me, but if I keep thinking about those two any longer... Barbed head. Yes, I understand. Thank you for your help. I'm sorry to have troubled you. We have paid a visit to all of the people and places connected with this case. I think it's about time you prepared yourself for the inevitable, don't you? Fine. Talk to the girl. 
Hi, Maya. Well, don't look so sad. Please don't be sad. Don't see. Look what they're doing. They're making Maya sad. These are the worst kind of people. Maya sure looks tired. I'm so sorry, Maya. I failed to defend you during that trial earlier today. I'm sorry too, Nick. I never meant to get caught up in this whole mess. Even worse, I got you caught up in it too, and you were convicted under that stupid law. Nick, you should really withdraw from this case. Maybe they'll even commute your sentence if you do. I could never abandon you like that. You might not believe me, but I'm going to pull off a win somehow. It's not like I don't believe in you, it's just... Don't worry, maybe this extra day in court is a blessing from the Holy Mother. Ugh. Let's use it to our advantage. We'll turn this trial inside out and upside down. You'll see. Uh, uh, okay. Yes? You're awfully quiet, your benevolence. It is only a matter of time until your executions are carried out. I simply thought I would allow you to a good talk before you depart from this world. Sorry, but we're not giving up yet. We won't till the bitter end. There is no need to put on a brave face. Your fates were sealed with today's verdict. Worry not of my affair. The Twilight Realm would cleanse the taint from that neophyte practitioner's soul. Then perhaps the Holy Mother may finally forgive her. Wow. I hate that. Wait. Was that her attempt at comforting me? I noticed you enjoy these sections a lot. Yeah, well, I'm okay. I like the interaction between these people because I don't fucking hate Rafa. Like, at first, I was like, wow, something is seriously wrong with this girl. But, like, there's been backstory and growth and things that we understand about her that make her a lot more tolerable. And she's already experienced quite a bit of character growth in these three chapters. So I enjoy the interactions. And she's a lot less prickly now. But, like, being with Nyuta sucks because it's just like banging your head against a wall. And I don't like it. Barbed head. Yeah, further resistance shall come to naught. Stop your desperate struggle. Accept the judgment that has been passed upon you. She obviously doesn't know me very well. Then perhaps your sentence will be commuted and... Hold it right there, your benevolence. Why do you always have to be like that? M M Maya, what are you? What, what is the matter? I was simply showing some mercy upon your souls. Nick here is risking his life to defend me. And that is why I told you it will come to not. No, it won't. Nick is just doing what lawyers are supposed to. He's defending his client no matter what. And enough. There is no place for lawyers in the Hall of Justice, but we have the divination seance. But your insights were wrong. Oh shit! Maya going for the throat! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Damn! See, this is why I like Maya. Fucking legend. <laughs> oh boy, that's gotta hurt. Don't you get it? Errors are bound to happen if your insights are accepted without question. So I ask you, Royal Priestess, what is your true duty? Do the victim's souls or the Holy Mother herself wish you to judge people in error? Oh, holy shit. Oh, you dare bring her holiness's name into this? You know nothing, you, you phony baloney. <laughs> But please, you two, enough already. S sorry, Nick, I, I got a little carried away. That's not really like me, huh? <laughs> no, I should be thanking you, Maya. It's good to have you in my corner. <clears throat> How dare you mock me so! You will not get away with this! I was a fool to show you compassion, and I think I could convince you to accept your fate. Yeah, that's not really compassion. That's like a backhanded compliment where you're like, 
Well, I'm telling you this, but I'm really telling you, like, you ain't shit. Nah. Sorry, Rafa. Maya know better than that. She's learned something over the past 10 years. 12. 11. Whatever. However many years it's been. So struggle all you want in the Hall of Justice tomorrow. You will receive your just desserts as the scorn of our kingdom is heaped upon you. I can see straight through that contorted smile on your face, you know. Uh, she may say these terrible things, but it's just the way she was raised, I guess. Yeah, at, at least Phoenix understands that too, where it's like, man, your dad is a piece of shit. I don't know much about your mom, but dang. Okay, now that she's gone, let's talk. Could you try to remember what happened one more time? I've been trying as hard as I can, but I can't remember anything from the middle of the right onward. All right, you suddenly felt sleepy and everything after that's a blank. Even so, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm not the one going around dressed like Lady Kira. Although it's kind of cool to think that there's a mysterious female vigilante out there. Right. Maya, Maya, back on the subject at hand, please. Were you close to Acolyte Zealot? Um... Well, we met several times during the meetings about the right, but I didn't know him very well. He seemed pretty quiet. Didn't you eat together the day before the right? Yeah, we ate this one super stinky dish, but it was actually really good! <laughs> oh... I wasn't sure I'd like it, but it was love at first bite. Like, you know the salty noodles that Eldun's noodles? It's like if you added garlic and herbs to that, and then it simmer for a really long time. It sounds more like a hot pot than ramen to me at that point. Ah, now I miss ramen too. Um, so what was Acolyte Zealot like while you were eating? He seemed to be enjoying the food, but as soon as we were done, he left to go pray. And what did you do? Oh, um, I returned to the temple to prepare for the rite. That coincides with Miss Inmi's description of events. Hmm. Any idea who might be pretending to be Lady Kira? Hmm. When the rite started, it was just me and Abbot Inmi. But the seance vision showed a third figure who looked like Lady Kira. I know. <sighs> Lady Kira, I wish I could have seen her in the flesh. Um, yeah, let's stay focused on the case, shall we? It was supposed to have been impossible for a third party to enter the Inter Sanctum. Ah, but what if she comes from the sky? You know, like that bushy bearded paratrooper. That mountain would have been no match for Lady Kira's wings. That's from the plumed Punisher TV show, right? H how did you know? Because the real Lady Kira doesn't have wings. Oh, I've got it this time. There must be a secret room with a secret door at the Inner Sanctum. Did you know there are 88 secret plumed Punisher bases here in Karain? <laughs> Can we please stop talking about the plumed Punisher show for a sec, Maya? I guess so. Keeping it real is so much, it's much harder than it looks. Well, I should get going now. Uh, sorry I wasn't any help. Don't worry, I've got this. We'll beat the charges tomorrow and be on the first plane back home before you know it. Then we'll go grab dinner at Eldoon's or your favorite burger joint. You pick. Sounds good. I think I'll get the extra large hamburg steak topping my salty bowl. Best of both worlds. You can have whatever you like, but first I have to beat the charges. Yeah. Oh, I almost forgot. That, what is it? I have a favor to ask. Okay, but why are we whispering? I forgot I left something at the high priest's house. It's super important. Would you mind getting it and holding it on holding on to it for me? Sure, so what's the super important thing? In my bag you'll find a folding book. It's only given to the priestess who performs the rite. It's called the Tome of Secrets. That does sound important. How could you leave something like that just lying around? That explains all the whispering if Rafa found out. All heck would break you loose. Look, it's got Lady Kira's real name written in it, so... Whoops! Don't tell anyone I told you that! In fact, uh, just forget I said anything at all. It's supposed to be a secret! 
Tome of Secrets contains secrets? <laughs> Imagine that! Hm? What are you two whispering about? Um, n nothing. It's just she forgot something, so I told her I'd go get it. You are up to something. I just know it! Thanks, Nick. I'm counting on you. All right. Bye. Back to the High Priest's house. Okay, I'm the High Priest's house. Hello? Anybody home? No answer. This enemy's probably out right now. Well, I'll just get what I came for. I am watching you like a war bad. Barbed head, you had better not steal anything. I would never do something like that. I'm just here to get what Maya asked for. Then get on with it. I would if you'd stop interrupting me. Check the bag. Ah, here's Maya's bag. Hmm? What is that strange patch on her bag? Oh, it's the Steel Samurai. He's the hero of an action hero show back in my country. Ah, of course we have to bring it out. It's uh, actually Maya's favorite show. She's got all sorts of merchandise related to it. I see. He looks strikingly similar to the Plumed Punisher. They are similar, but uh, the Steel Samurai definitely came first. <laughs> I see, how interesting. Rifa seems genuinely intrigued. There must, there must uh, be a common thread between Plume Punisher and Steel Samurai fans. Okay, they forgot B. It must uh. Come to think of it, didn't Maya mention something about trading with a Plume Punisher fan? But I digress. I'd better find what she asked me to look for and get going. What if the one that she traded with was freaking... Rafa, that would be great. Let's see here. This must be that Tome of Secrets that Maya was talking about. Tome of Secrets added to the court record. I hope you didn't notice that that's the Tome of Secrets. Well, Barbed Head, are you finished now? Hold on a second. The string around it is coming undone. Whoops. Oh! Ah, you fool! Do not lay eyes upon it! Put it away! Uh, quickly! Before we go blind! Relax, my hand just slipped. This is the Tome of Secrets! Are you trying to get us cursed? L Lady Kira is liable to swoop down and gouge our eyes out. Oh, right. This book is related to Lady Kira, isn't it? Your benevolence, would you mind if I asked you some questions? Come! I'll take that as a yes. This is not something I would normally speak about to an outsider such as you. Well, can't you make an exception? If you insist, Nana. Wow. Welcome, old Google lady. What of this folding book? Yes, I see. This is very, this very important tome is bestowed upon the priestess in the purification rite. Very important. What's written inside? Yes, 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 I see. Uh, really? Is it all right to reveal that? Um, uh, your benevolence? Patience, patience. The book contains Lady Kira's true name. Her true name? Is the name really that important of a secret? Mm, to a Kuranist priestess, a person's name is one of the most important things to know. Uh, what's so important about a name? Without a name, a priestess's voice will fail to reach a person's mitama. It is much like trying to send a letter without the recipient's address. A spirit can only be identified once you know the deceased's face and name. No. Sorry, I was messing around with my office light because it's starting to get a little darker outside. 
No, I get it. It's like when you see someone in a crowd you recognize, but you don't know their name. Makes it impossible to get their attention. Indeed. You must know a spirit's face and true name before you can commune with it. It is the same for Kurinim... Kurinism's most secret art, one that my mother alone may use. The queen has a secret art. Hmm. It is something a foreigner such as you could never hope to guess. Yeah, spirit channeling is a secret. Oh, I know! <laughs> I know what it is! I know about that! I've seen it happen a bunch of times. I should pretend this is all new to me. Yeah, because if you say that you know it, she's going to think that you're crazy and a spy. Besides, I get the feeling she secretly really wants to tell me all about it. Could you tell me about the secret art of the queen you spoke of? Come again? Oh, sorry. Maybe we shouldn't talk about this. It is a secret after all, right? It is the secret art of spirit channeling, <laughs> but I suppose those words are meaningless to you. I'm just as surprised how, I'm surprised how willing you are to tell me about it. A third rate lawyer could not channel spirits simply by learning of the technique. Third rate is a bit harsh. I'd even settle for second. Yeah, <laughs> wow. What is it? You have the look of a tentacled hag frog on your face. What? What the heck is a tentacled hag frog? What? Spirit channeling. Mm, that's where a medium lets a spirit possess her body to return to our world, right? Well, now I see you have done your homework. Oh, I guess I studied a bit. <laughs> With the power of spirit channeling, one can bring back even the most ancient of spirits. It is quite a magnificent power, is it not? Never seen her eyes light up like this before. I imagine they're pretty shocked when they come back from ancient times. Indeed. A spirit's memory is cut off at the moment of death. So even a spirit that's brought back after centuries doesn't sense any gap in time. Oh dang, it's Lash! Hello, Lash! How is stream? Welcome. Welcome, Blair. Ta da! We're here. Um, this 14 year old girl is schooling me on spirit channeling, which I already know, but I'm pretending that I don't so she doesn't, like, freak out on me. Good if a little all over the place. I mean, sometimes that happens. It's, it's totally fine. Uh, between the moment of death and the moment it is channeled. Yes, and yet it clearly recalls all of the memories it had in life. Thus, even heroes and scholars of antiquity can be channeled and directly learned from. Our queens have also used this power to help the rulers of neighboring lands seek counsel. That is why we have never been invaded and how we have maintained our unique culture. Uh, so spirit channeling is a really effective tool for international politics. It is indeed. Wow, of course we had to make it political. Ugh. And that is why only those with the powers to channel spirits may rule our kingdom. But of late, there has been an endless influx of illegal immigrants from neighboring lands. Wow. What is this? America? <laughs> uh, sorry. Maybe that's too topical. Oh, also, Lash, I was very sad yesterday um, because after stream, I kept playing Dark Cloud 2 and I did fishing and I won my first fishing tournament. But I didn't realize, I don't know if it's the same for subs subsequent tournaments. Um, you win a lure rod for being first place. I had already created a lure rod so I was like, dang, now I have to just trash this other rod. So I basically got nothing for winning, but at least I won, I guess. So there's that. I thought that you were supposed to get, um, like gemstones and stuff, but maybe that's just if you keep winning. Maybe the first prize you get is just the lure rod. I didn't really look it up, but I was just like, dang. Later on down the line, okay. 
down the line. Cause fishing and the guy. Anyway, guys, the prize is protect. No, you need to win. Can't use the lore rod for now. Not until Finny. Yeah, Finny Frenzy did open up, um, but all of my fish suck. <laughs> I, I have a couple that I put in a tank and just had them fight each other forever um, to get their strength up, but I have to, like, feed them a lot of things. And then there's breeding, and I remember there being a lot to go into that. You win a race and you can recruit that one. She sells lords. Oh, yeah, I was OK, because I was like, nobody sells those yet. They just sell bait and without without lures, the lore rod is completely useless. Yeah, speak to them if the friends is up. Oh, OK, I'll have to make sure to do that for sure. But yeah, I was just like, man, this kind of was like, wow, I'm glad I won. But uh, dang, I got the prize that I don't need right now. OK, illegal immigrants, we're back. We're back on this. The fools come seeking the same great power as my mother. Illegal immigrants. Yes, it is becoming quite a problem. Some have lost their way in life and look to Koreanism for their salvation. Among them are also those of dubious nature who have been driven from their own lands. Dubious nature, driven from their own lands. Gasp and pain definitely felt, fit that bill. Oh, pain. She's the same square of the tank. Oh, okay. Is she the one just kind of walking around like the little furbit girl? Okay, yeah, I've seen her. Oh man, now that that's up, I definitely, yeah, need to talk to her so I can get that figured out. Yeah. They sure weren't treating him like an illegal alien. Man, this game is topical. Can you channel spirits, your benevolence? I am but the royal priestess. There is still much that I must learn. As of now, the divination seance takes me to the very limit of my ability. So her spiritual power doesn't measure up to Maya's. Oh, well, I mean, Maya's also a lot older, so. You were just mocking me in your mind, weren't you? I wasn't mocking you, it's just the truth. D -d Don't be ridiculous. It is written all over your face, you impudent nincompoop. Wow. The divination seance was once one of the important roles fulfilled by the queen. That is what my mother taught me when I was little. So the queen can perform the dance of devotion? That'd be a sight to see. Someday I will be a powerful priestess and queen, just like my mother. And the divination seance is a vital part of my training to prepare me for that day. Uh, forgive my ignorance, your benevolence. Hmm. You shall see. It will not be long before I, too, master the secret art of spirit channeling. I will be a magnificent queen who unites her people for the greater good of Karain. Yes. And it is that same pain. Um, in every single Phoenix Wright so far, the first person you fight is basically always pain. Although I think in the last one I played, it was actually pain's like cousin. <laughs> but you you totally go up against pain in this one. Uh, and it's the same pain, <laughs> and I guess he's done so poorly in the last place he was at that he left the country, found his way here to a place where generally prosecutors always win because there are zero lawyers. But then I, uh, you know, Phoenix Wright shows up and rains on his parade and makes him uh, lose his toupee. So, you know. Yes, you will be a magnificent queen who reunites her people for the greater good of Korea. Now I see. Spirit channeling is something she really aspires to. Yeah, in, in, in true pain fashion, he is incredibly overconfident and then gets just trounced and probably lost his job <laughs> again. Spirit channeling is something, yeah, she really aspires to. Yeah, you're gonna ace that tail. Yeah, become the next master, Maya. Looks like she actually has something in common with Maya. It's not just the black hair.
Are you quite through now? There are more important things to do than to stand here and talk about spirit channeling. That's true. Doesn't have anything to do with this case, as far as I can tell. Or does it? Um, if the queen is a spirit medium... Are you about to suggest that my mother was channeling Lady Kira? Dak! I guess she saw that one coming. Hmm. Lawyers are indeed a witless breed. On the day of the right, my mother was engaged in other duties at the palace. Of course. My mother is a very busy woman, and the idea itself is preposterous. Do you truly believe the Queen of Korain would personally battle the insurgents? This is precisely what makes you third rate. Ugh. Another dead end. This is bad. Anyway, I need to continue looking for leads, so... Over there! After him! Don't let him escape! What is all that racket? Oh no, they found... Did they find... Um... The dude? What? That escaped prisoner has surfaced here in town? Escaped prisoner? Yeah. You mean, that guy with the bushy beard? There's no reason to panic. The police are on his trail. He's no longer a suspect. But he might know something, considering he was at the scene of the crime. Let's go take a look. <laughs> Let's go ch chase that criminal. O wait! Sorry, no waiting, only running. We're in the bazaar now. <sighs> Ugh, ugh, my aching back. I forgot how badly I'd injured it. Ugh, I need to do some stretching and exercise when I get back home. Ah, Mr. Wright. It's Albie. Hi, Albie. Ugh. Ugh, hey, Albie. That's horrible. Have you seen him? Ah, ah. Are you all right, sir? One second. Ugh. <sighs> oh, Phoenix, come on. Have you seen that escaped prisoner around here? Oh, so that's why all those police came rushing over here. I heard them saying something about an escaped prisoner disappearing in this area. That bitch from Final Fantasy X2, but you assume that's unrelated? I mean, probably. If she was somehow related to pain, I would be terrified. The crossover we never knew would happen. Final Fantasy X Phoenix Wright. Disappeared in this area. He couldn't have taken the, to the air again, could he? Barbed head. I told you to wait. It's too dangerous for you around here, your benevolence. Mr. Arabal could be lurking nearby. What sort of princess would I be? If all it took was an escaped prisoner to frighten me, well, you could die. She's fearless, I'll give her that. I can't be responsible if something happens to you. As long as I'm here, though, I might as well search the area myself. Hmm. If I were an escaped prisoner, where would I hide? I don't know, maybe this very suspicious looking manhole? That manhole cover, it's open! Yes, Shadow? Whoa! What is it, Shadow? A shadow? Ah, his eyes! Did he sniff out something, someone or something in the manhole? Hmm, I wonder. Could Shadow track Mr. Aribel if he had something with the rebel scent on it? I don't know. I feel like I've got something with Mr. Aribel scent on it. Something he might have touched. Yeah. Uh, present. Uh, wait, uh, shit. Wait, what? What would he have it?
Wait a second. Is it, uh, could it be that? Oh gosh, I'm so confused. Profiles. You got, you think, well, I'm thinking. I thought that it would have been the torn letter, but that doesn't exist anymore. Also, he's not even in the profile thing anymore. Only someone capable of entering the priest's home could have delivered. Yeah, but uh... was he? He didn't. Did he have the knife? I think he had the knife at some point. But also, like, this looks like. Let's try that. Here, Shadow, how about this? I hope it works. I think he's picked up a scent. Okay, I was like, cause I think, yeah. It's like, I'm pretty sure that's the one. You mind if I borrow a uh, Shadow for a bit? By all means. I had no idea you could do this. Yeah, go get him, boy. Uh, your benevolence. I'm heading down the manhole now. It could be dangerous, so please wait here. Wait! Don't worry, I won't commit any of those misdeeds you're so worried about. Th that is not what I fear. There may be a vicious insurgent lurking down there. Oh, are you worried about me? N no, I was simply wondering why you would go to such lengths in your investigation. After all, if you would simply withdraw from this case, they might commute your sentence. I'm doing this to prove Maya innocent. But how can you be so sure of the accused innocence? She has already been found guilty. That doesn't mean that she's guilty. That just means that the court found her guilty because of some bullshit dude named Nayuta. Yeah. Fuck this. Things aren't always what they seem. I believe in her. If she says she's innocent, then that means she's innocent. Lawyers must trust in their client to the bitter end. That's just what we do. Even if they can't pay us money, which is most of my cases. You lame brain, do what you will. Well, I'm going in. Let's go, Shadow. Uh, be careful. I'll have to charge you a lot of money if my dog goes missing. Man, this is just like a latent game. We get to explore sewers and things. There's just not very many puzzles, and Nayuta exists. It's black down here. I can't see a thing. Wham! Dag! Did I just run into... Hello? Ugh. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, did I get hit? Oh, no. Am I being held hostage? What happened? I went down the manhole and then... Oh! Hello! <laughs> oh, cause yeah, cause he's got a pink scarf. I was about to say. Oh, you finally came too. Duh! Ah! I'd remember that face anywhere. Well, hello. And that dragon symbol on his armband, that's the mark of the rebels. There can be no mistake, it's him. That's horrible. Hey, get yikes! Ah, sorry I get a little rough with you back there. Thought you were the cops. Why are you making that face? Hey, uh, want an apple? <laughs> what? Excuse me? It is, yeah, the, it, these, the pun names are killing me. Just so you know, um... The priest here. Let's let's look at some of these names for you. Profiles. I'll be your guide. That kid we were just talking to. To rust in me, the priest who died. Uh, Nayuta Sadmati. There's nothing funny about his name. He's just an asshole, and I hate him. Um, Dots Aribal. Hooray's a lot. Another person who died, and believe in me. It's just, 
they they just won't stop. And then there's Rafa Padma Karain. She's that's just her name. It's not a pun as far as I can tell. It makes me. I hate it. It they just keep getting worse. Yeah, it's awful. I don't know. Like I've already gone on record saying that I'm I'm ever like the longer I play this game, like I enjoy it, but I'm finding that I'm. For one, it feels like they're really like dragging things out and and also like most of the time the prosecutors have some kind of redeeming feature or they get better through the game. Now Yuta just seems like he's getting worse and I just don't like him at all. It probably doesn't help that he's like crazy religious and he has to like put that in your face every time you talk to him. I'm like, I don't care. This is draining me mentally. I thought he was gonna kill me. At least he likes apples. And garlic? I I'll pass on the apple, but thanks. I don't mind a good apple, but not right now. What is this place? This is the office of my brother in arms, Dirk. Uh, but right now we're using it as a rebel safe house. Wait, 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 back up a second. What kind of office is this exactly? A law office. What else? Wait, oh my God. <laughs> oh, I like that there's a knife in the head of the queen over there. Really, Dirk used to be a lawyer? Yep, just like you. Rain's public enemy number one is an ex-lawyer. Didn't see that coming. I'm pretty sure they said something about it, but Phoenix doesn't listen a lot. I don't suppose I'll be coming around here anymore. You won't? Are you planning to flee or something? It's just, I want to get out of the rebel business. Tired of being hounded by cops and all that. So I came by today to pick up my, uh, the last of my stuff. R really? I'm gonna sell Dirk's info to the Minister of Justice, then slip out of Korain. Wow, that's, ho that's horrible. Now I get your name, and I hate it. Wait a second. You're a key person of interest in this case. You can't go running off like that. Relax, will you? I'll tell you whatever you need to know. Oh, and sorry about punching your lights out back there. My bad. So, Mr. Lawyer Man, what do you want to know? Tell me about the murders of the High Priest... of High Priest Trust Me and his acolyte, Parais a lot. Sure, I'll tell you whatever I can. Don't know if it'll be much help, though. I mean, I'm not a rebel anymore, so, uh... Wonder how true that really is. Oh, I don't like the fact that he's just holding this pose. Tell me everything you know about the High Priest's murder. Uh, well, as you know, I don't remember much about that. <laughs> I banged my head on a rock as soon as I parachuted into the inner sanctum. So when I told you I had nothing to do with his murder, I meant it. Okay, then where, where were you when you came to after banging your head? Uh, by the time I came to, it was already down. I must have been, uh, oh wait, they say the sun was already down, or? Oh, it was already dawn. Sorry, I don't, the, sometimes the font confuses me. I must have been out cold the whole time. So you didn't see the crime happen at all. Ha, <laughs> you got that right. Then why did you say you did when you testified? Oh, well, about that, since uh, I didn't remember a thing, <laughs> I was afraid I'd seem suspicious, so I came up with that whole story. Does he even realize how much trouble his big fat lie has caused me? Ah, uh, sorry for the trouble. <laughs> it was definitely my bad. Wow, fuck this guy. He doesn't seem very sorry to me. So the bottom line is that you were at the scene of the crime, but weren't involved in it. Got it. Dirk the attorney. So Dirk used to be a lawyer? Yep, he was a force to be reckoned with back when he was still practicing. He was a juggernaut of the law and as mighty as a dragon. He could strike terror into a prosecutor's heart just by glaring at him. People called it his dragon's glare. He even got criminals to confess and pass out with a well-placed glare. Hey, it's like my finger pointies. You gotta be kidding me. But most important of all, he would never surrender. He'd fight for the accused no matter how the odds were stacked against him. Is that what you mean by Will of the Dragon? Yep, that would be it. 
And actually, your work in court yesterday was mighty impressive too. You didn't give up, no matter how hard of a beating you took. Not unlike Dirk, I might add. <laughs> oh, um, thanks? Even if a big part of that beating I took was because of you. Yeah, Dats is a character. For sure. Um, I should examine. There are bowls and platters of food here. They're still warm, as if this was all recently prepared. You must have a pretty big appetite, Mr. Arribal. <laughs> Guys as big and strong as me got even bigger appetites, you know. But you just fled from the police. I don't know how you could eat this much after all that ex excitement. Dak, sorry if I offended you. Ah, uh, but first let's start with an appetizer. Where is he getting all those apples from? His ass, I don't know. Want to join me, Mr. Lawyer Man? Got plenty of sewer lizards too. Th thanks, but I already ate. Oh. Incense and white flowers. The flowers are still fresh. They must have been put here maybe today or yesterday. Did you put these here, Mr. Auriball? Uh, something wrong with flowers? Oh no! <laughs> it's just a uh, just a traditional thing here in Korea. Pay it no mind. Well, there's those lizards. Just hanging. What are these hanging here? Lizards? If so, they're pretty big. Those are sewer lizards. We call them that because they live in the sewer. They grow bigger than your average lizard, which makes them fine eating. Wait, you eat these? Eh, what else would you do with them? I don't know, leave them alone? Here, try one. A uh, pass, I'll definitely pass. You're missing out on a fine treat, my man. Somehow, I think I'll live without it. Man, I actually, you know what? I'd try it, probably. There's a knife driven deep into a photo of the queen. I guess the rebels really hate her. I better remember to stay on their good side. Wait, what is that? Shh. Is this a law book? A dragon mark's been branded into the cover. Ah, that's Dirk's law book. Really? The leader of the rebels? That, that Dirk? That's right. And that mark of the dragon is the emblem of the rebellion. Hmm. Pages in this one section are really dirty. Must be the section on uh, the Defense Culpability Act. Dirk's law book added to the court record. He must have done a ton of research on the Defense Culpability Act. He practically wore out the entire section. You guys get electricity? Yeah, but the power goes out occasionally. That's pretty inconvenient. You're telling me, sometimes it goes out for an entire day. What about the stuff in the fridge? Why don't you see for yourself? <laughs> Forget I asked. I'm afraid what I might find. Oh man, it'll be that, that episode of Cowboy Bebop. The thing that came from the fridge. What's this thing with the dragon on it? Some kind of sign? Yep, that was his business sign back when this was Dirk's office. He used to be a lawyer, right? That he was, but it was a really long time ago. This place has seen better days, that's for sure. Well, I hope he can put his sign back up someday. I wouldn't hold my breath. Okay. Why, is he dead? I need I need to understand things. Is that your coat yours, Mr. Aribal? Nah, it belongs to the rebel leader, Dirk. Pretty impressive, I like the color too. Wanna try it on? R really? Y you sure it's okay? Of course, bet it would look great on you. Well then, <laughs> don't mind if I do. Dak, it smells all moldy. <laughs> I can't believe you fell for it. <laughs> that thing's been hanging there forever. Note to self, don't trust this guy ever again. Man, fuck you, Dats. Oh, that food does look pretty good, though. Yeah, 
Well, let's see. Maybe there's stuff he might like. Is this a pardon gift for me leaving the rebels? No, 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 you can't keep it. I'll just ask him what I can for now. Oh, okay. How about that? Um. more to examine? Oh! Hello? There's a ladder leading underground. He must have brought me in through there, but there's no reason for me to leave yet. I should see what else Mr. Arebal has to say. But I, I... What else could he say? Oh, let's check this. This looks like a photo of Dirk and his compatriots. And here's one that looks really old. Whoa, 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 whoa! Wow, this was taken about 20 years ago. Why does, is the, why does the one on the right look like Apollo? I bet that fucking is Apollo. And the one on the left is definitely Nayuta because nobody else has that hair color. How old is Apollo again? Oh, I guess he's like 25 or, well, or 27, 20, fuck. Ah. There's... Excuse me? Wait, sons? Wait, I thought... What? Hell, huh? I'm so confused right now. Those are Dirk's sons. Really? So this is the rebel Dirk in the center. He doesn't look so evil. About 24. That's... Then he... There's no way he could be four years old and look like that. Well, maybe. God, I don't know. What do kids look like anymore? But, but he's what's her face's son. What the fuck is going on? Really? So this is Rebel Dirk in the center. He doesn't look so evil. Well, I guess he said about 20 years ago, so it's not exactly. And both of his sons look kind of familiar. The one on the left is Yudi. Oh, but you know him as a uh, prosecutor, Sadmati. Prosecutor Sadmati is Dirk's son. That he is. Yudi was once a rebel too. He used to really respect his old man, both as a father and as a lawyer. And why did he become a prosecutor? Being a lawyer in this kingdom is the same as signing your own death warrant. On account of the defense, oh, on account of the Defense Culpability Act, right? Yeah, that's why Yudi decided to be a prosecutor instead. He wanted to spark a revolution from the inside. So he dove right into the enemy's den. I would have never guessed looking at him now. You can say that again. Dirk is battling to change Karain's legal system. The will of the dragon spurs him on. We all thought Yudi was taking up the mantle to carry on that will too. We were sure he'd help overthrow Garan one day, but uh, as you can see, he now uses the law to do her bidding. Dirk's been beside himself. So he no longer carries the will of the dragon in him, huh? More like the will of the dumb bitch. Ah, got him! Seriously, I do not like Nayuta at all. I wonder what happened between father and son for it to come to this. What about the other child in the photo? That's Dirk's adopted son, but he's gone back overseas. Oh, he's adopted, okay, I was like, there's, there's no way that he can be because he's definitely somebody else's child because he's, um, oh God. He's Trucy's sister. So he's the daughter of Grammary, or the daughter, the son of Grammary bro and Lamarar. His name's Apollo. Apollo? Wait a second. That bracelet, it really is Apollo. He's Trucy's, yeah, he's Trucy's sister. You didn't know Apollo uh, is a lady. <laughs> They're all ladies. Everybody in this game is a woman. Da da da. Even Phoenix Wright. He just doesn't know it. 
He was a rascal, that one, and his voice could shake the entire room. I imagine he's out there raising high hell somewhere. <laughs> yes, I'm sure he's doing just fine. Considering how far he's come, Mr. Aribal's description really doesn't do Apollo justice. Haha! <laughs> doesn't do Apollo justice, just like the game! Apollo justice! Actually, Phoenix knows that they're related, right? Or does only Lamoror and... Um, like Phoenix, I can't remember. Like, was he the one talking to her when stuff was going on at the end of Apollo Justice? Phoenix does, okay, okay. He probably just doesn't say anything, yeah. When they were like, look at all of this stuff happening. And you're like, oh boy. I believe in you, Apollo. Thank you, I'll be fine. Yeah, everything will be fine. Good job, Apollo. He is a responsible young man now. He never lost that loud voice, though. Well, I gotta start packing. Who knows when they might catch up with me if I don't scram soon. Uh, please, wait, I still need to ask you something. Go ahead, shoot. What are you rebels trying to do? And why were you at the Inner Sanctum in the first place? Okay, there we go. I was like, dang, man, this is a lot. Why were you at the Inner Sanctum on the day of the murder? Or more precisely, uh, what were you trying to do there? I was trying to escape prison, that's all. But that high priest was a fool for getting taken in by dirt. He should have tried hightailing it out of Corinne like I'm doing. Oh. Oh. Ah, Cyclox! Mr. Arabal is hiding something, but I won't know exactly what what until I can undo the locks. What exactly are you trying to hide, Mr. Arabal? I'm not hiding anything. <laughs> no way, no how. I'll just have to use my Magatama on him then. He like stabs him with it. What are you hiding? Where is he? Use that Batman voice. Take that! Take that. I'm gonna look at you through my thing. That's his plan. I'm gonna ask you again. Why were you at the inner sanctum on the day of the murder? Or more precisely, what were you trying to do there? Yeah, I can keep on asking, but the answer's still the same. I was trying to escape from prison, that's all. But that high priest was a fool. He fell for Dirk's line and sold his own country out. How can you say such a thing about him? He helped you escape, didn't he? Don't you even care about what happened to him? Nope, I was getting out of the rebellion anyway. He should have opened his eyes. We never stood a chance against the Garan regime. Hang on, do you really believe what you're saying? Didn't the high priest's death really hurt you on the inside? Like I said, I couldn't care less about the whole thing. I beg to differ. This wouldn't be here in this room if you didn't feel a thing. Present! Take that! I heard these flowers are offered in memory of the dead here in Korain. Yeah. Now we got Apollo involved. We'll see. I don't know. Maybe he'll die. Dang. Sorry, Apollo. Didn't mean to get you killed. The high priest's death hit you hard, and you've been grieving here alone, haven't you? Well? Uh, hey -ho. Uh, those flowers don't mean anything. <laughs> it's just a Koranese way of saying goodbye. Why hide the fact that you're mourning his death? You're reading into this <laughs> too much. I told you, I'm done with the rebellion. I haven't even uh, heard from Dirk or the rest of them for a few days. And tomorrow I'm planning to kiss this kingdom goodbye. No, I know you've been in contact with the other rebels lately. How exactly do you plan on proving that? This piece of evidence ties you to the other rebels. Bum, bum, bum. Take that. that, because it told you to meet there and with the key. I found this prayer flag at the Plaza of Devotion. 
You wrote a message on it and left it behind for your fellow rebels, didn't you? Huh. They brought this food for you at your request. <laughs> so you're lying about leaving the rebels. You're still involved with Dirk and the rest of them, aren't you? Ah! Oh, ho, ho. Are you ready to tell me the truth now? No, oh, you're good, Mr. Lawyer Man. I admit it. I requested the grub. But I was just taking advantage of him, <laughs> that's all. What do you mean? With my face plastered all over the place, I couldn't stay out in the open anymore. So I just took advantage of my former comrades for some grub and a place to hide. I was gonna kiss this kingdom goodbye tomorrow. I'm not buying it. You're obviously lying, I can tell just by looking at you. The white hot flames of revolution definitely still burn inside of you. What, that's ridiculous. Those flames burned out a long time ago. This proves that the flames of revolution still burn on inside of you. I think it's the, uh... Take that. The book? Uh, Dirk's law book? <laughs> I'm no lawyer, so what's that got to do with me? Look at the mark branded onto the cover. This mark that stands for an unwavering commitment to the revolution. It is Dirk's way of representing the will of the dragon. Yeah, so what of it? You have that same mark on the scarf tied around your left arm. But you wouldn't be wearing that if you were no longer a rebel. I, I, I forgot to take it off, that's all. <laughs> no, as a wanted man, that should have been the first thing you took off. The fact that you haven't hidden that mark yet proves that you're still a rebel. Ugh. Yeah. Think what you want, but you don't know nothing about me. No, you're wrong. You wear your heart and your beliefs right on your sleeve, just like me. And this is what I believe in. Attorney's badge! When a person's back is against a wall, they always fall back on what they believe in. Just as I always have my badge, you always have the will of, a dr of the dragon within you. Am I... Am I like in, just like flaming up these rebels? Am I gonna lead a war? Is that what's? Give this man a gun. And would you live your risk your life for your beliefs? No, I wouldn't. No, no, because I wouldn't be much use to my clients dead. Now admit it. You've never once thought about leaving the defiant dragons, have you? That look in your eyes, it's just like Dirk's. Looks like you got the will of the dragon inside of you, too. Phoenix Wright for next uh, Yakuza main character. The dragon. Thanks. Huh. I had planned to take you out if you turned out to be on the side of the royals. But I think I can trust you. Can't believe I was that close to getting shanked here. Oh, God. It's like you said. I know intention of leaving Dirk's group. In other words, you were testing me. You're a foreigner and a lawyer who's been charged with abetting a criminal to boot. And I've seen a fair share of lawyers get pardoned after weeping at the feet of the queen. Well, well, I'm gonna keep fighting till the end. Yeah, I can see that now. Sorry I ever doubted you. So what are you doing here anyway? I came to get the secret hideout key from the helper. Secret hideout? Yep, I was supposed to get my next order from Dirk there. But the town's swarming with cops thanks to that murder. Nothing I can do about that. What about the order Dirk was supposed to give you? Gonna have to abort that mission. Now I'm just lying low, waiting for a chance to make contact with Dirk again. Oh no, I knew it! Wait, am I gonna, I bet he's gonna be like, hey, you go talk to Dirk. Hey, why the long face? I thought you'd be able to tell me something about the high priest's murder. Sorry to disappoint ya. No, I know. Let me make it up to you with this. What is it? This orb is actually a key. It opens the door to one of our secret hideouts. I can't say any more than that. Anyway, I hope it helps. This orb is a key? Yep, plus the hideout's in a totally unexpected location. 
And being that it's super secret, we couldn't have just any ordinary key. I see. Golden orb added to the court record. Maybe this will help me unravel the truth behind this case. Thanks. Don't mention it. Besides, you're a fellow brother in arms fighting the powers that be. Uh, if it'll help you, feel free to pick my brain a bit more. Everyone's been talking about the return of Lady Kira lately. Well, my friend Maya is suspected of being the rebel hunter disguised as Lady Kira. You wouldn't happen to know who she really is, though, would you? Beats me, but whoever she is, she bushwhacked me and hauled me off to jail. Even worse, on top of attacking us and delivering us to the cops, she's been watching us like a hawk and framing us for different crimes. Watching you like a hawk, framing you for your crimes? Why would anyone go to all that trouble? Our kingdom likes to pretend that its people are free to think what they want. Because of that, the authorities can't arrest you just for sympathizing with the rebellion. So they resort to framing people for things they didn't do. And that Lady Kira figure is... Yep, she's just some lick spittle working for the Garan regime. Wow. You're not the DCI Dirk. Yeah, wow, Inga, you suck. Yeah, you got a little trick up your sleeve. Yeah, it's uh, bullshit. So he was talking about Lady Kira then. Advanced combat skills, detailed surveillance, and clever setups. She's no amateur if you ask me. So you're saying the monarchy is using Lady Kira to secretly take out the rebels? Exactly. The Garon regime is using her to control the people, even down to what we think. Why don't the people protest if the monarchy is doing things like that? Unfortunately, we don't have any conclusive evidence. And without that, we can't prove anything. Ugh. I know the feeling. If I bring this up in court, they'd probably dismiss it out of hand. I have to unmask Lady Kira if I want to get anywhere. All of the revolution. Man, see, there's so much. So much. Our goal? To get rid of that evil, no good defense culpability act. I can tell just by looking at Dirk's law book. The DC Act has turned this kingdom into a corrupt cesspool. Her false charges are overlooked and prosecutors are the only ones heard in court. It's been 23 years since it was first enacted. What happened 23 years ago to make them pass such a terrible law? The assassination of Queen Amara. That's where it all began. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> Dirk assassinated the former queen, didn't he? That's the official line, but, uh, the official line? Yeah, come on, listen to what he said. Obviously, somebody set things up. Those charges were completely trumped up. Dirk was framed, I'm telling you. He, he was? Plus, Dirk was a lawyer. Once the people thought a lawyer had killed the queen, they turned against all lawyers. And that's how the DC Act was first passed. So that's why there aren't any lawyers left in Korain. Even worse, it changed the significance of the divination seance. The significance of the divination seance? They were holding seances in court even before the DC Act? You bet they were. Lawyers and prosecutors used to hotly contest the insights that came out of seances. You mean like what I've been doing? Right, it's like Dirk used to say. The royal priestess's insights are just another piece of evidence. Right. See what you mean about the significance of the divination seance changing. Yep. The insights became only truth, and arguing against them was banned. Yeah, it's your duty to reveal the truth through the divination seance. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, well, that's the whole point. We're supposed to fight over what's good and not. Be right back. All right. Marshall with you under the head. Thanks, Rafa. You think it's 14 year old. From what I've seen, Rafa would agree with that. 
This kingdom's a shadow of its former self. Become a dictatorship where the royals use fear of trumped up charges to rule. And that's what Dirk's been rebelling against. Yep, all we want is to live in a kingdom with a fair and impartial legal system. And there's only one way to make that come true. Overthrow the current regime. So that's the truth behind the rebels. Well, PW, my friend, it's about time for me to get going. After all, I am the fangs of the defiant dragons. Oh, that's why you do the weird hand motion. That's our ball. You're not gonna do that alley-oop thing again, are you? I was just getting to that. See you when I see ya. Alley-oop! Why does he have to jump like that before running off? I was about to say, that doesn't mean he's... Well, I guess we're friends now. But enough about that. I've already spent way too much time here. We should probably, like, put that manhole cover back on, too. Oh, I think... Did we? Or was that us opening it? Oh, God, it's bright. Whew, finally got out of there. Mr. Wright! I'm so glad you're okay. I was so worried about you. Oh, it's okay, Shadow. You did your best. Shadow, what happened to him anyway? He came out of the manhole about five minutes after you went in. Sorry he wasn't much help. Aw, he was helpful. Well, did you find anything of worth? Oh, uh, I tripped and fell down there. I must have been out cold for a while. Better keep things to myself for now. I figured as much. I have to find that secret hideout Mr. Arable was talking about. I should probably start with places that have something to do with the High Priest. Yeah, you know what? I already knew we're gonna go to the Inner Sanctum because remember, this bird statue is missing an eye. So I wonder if we could possibly fit the thing we just got into the eye socket and open it up. I've played RPGs before. I know how this works. Barbed Head, you already searched here, did you not? Oh, um, I just thought I'd look around again, you know, in case I missed something. Probably shouldn't tell her I'm looking for the secret rebel hideout. We have a saying back home, leave no stone unturned. Hmm, oh, yes. You cannot stump me, I know that one. Actually, I don't have a clue is written all over your face. Let's examine that statue again. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Um. Whoa! Yeah, this is blood, okay. Statue of war, bad, the spurred and the face to her appearance, all the blood is from the high priest. Yeah, he embraced the statue and hoped that Lady Kira, yeah, that seems like a bad idea. Considering the amount of blood, he must have been stabbed with considerable force. Yeah, Maya couldn't do that. Okay. Maybe I just have to... I have to, have to turn the angle of the whole thing. Because I'm pretty sure... Let's go back. There we go! I was about to say, that conspicuous hole? Statue of a bird, I should take a... Uh, what do you mean, later? L look at it now. The hole. Hey, this eye is missing. What are you doing? You must not touch that for no reason. S sorry But that shape, hmm, I wonder. Select your answer, the thing we just got. Come on. Next, you're gonna have me light torches to open a door, just like Zelda. Take that! Take that! Ka-chink! I knew it! Oh. Oh! Wh wh what? Man, Maya was right on the money when she said there were secret hidden places in the mountains. Who knew that show took so much from reality? She must be at a loss for words, and that doesn't happen too often. All right, you have a good one, Lash. Thank you so much for the raid and for hanging out.
I hope that you get plenty of sleep. Yeah, thank you. So far, things are happening, and I have more questions than answers, but it's okay. That's just how this game works. What is this place? I explain yourself at once, barbed head. I don't think she's ready for the full story. I don't really know much myself, but it seems to be a secret rebel hideout. I'm shocked there's a secret door here. I imagine that goes double for Rafa. A rebel hideout in the inner sanctum? Somebody will pay for this. Well, for now, I think I'll have a look around. Wait, you must not enter before the police. Don't worry, I won't disturb anything, or at least I'll try not to. Besides, with you watching over me, it should be fine, right? And uh, you see, fine, just please stop pleading your case. I can only stand so much lawyerly drivel. But I will be presenting all information gleaned from your efforts here to the police. Of course, now shall we? I will go no further. Oh right, you're not supposed to come in contact with the taint of Lady Kira's battles. Very good, Barbed Head. I commend you for remembering. Oh, well, uh, thank you. Wait, why am I thanking her? I may not be able to enter, but I will allow no misdeeds on your part. I will be watching you like a warbad from the entrance here. I told you I'm not going to do anything. Better hurry before she changes her mind. Into the rebel hideout. Oh, hello. There's hands on that big mossy gravestone. Uh, it's not a gravestone. It's just a statue. May 11th, secret hideout. I believe this to be a sacred space that enshrines the source of the spring water. That makes sense. The rebels must have converted it into a secret hideout. Oh, okay. But what about that warbad revolving door? I wonder if that too was originally intended to hide and protect this sacred place. To think those filthy rebels were scheming their schemes in this most sacred place. It is a desecration of Bon Karenism itself. The defiant dragon shall pay for this. I suppose it's only natural that she'd be upset, but the investigation must go on. I think I'll start by taking a picture of the place. Good thing I brought a camera to snap some souvenir shots. Stop that! You must not take photos here without permission! Riff is really fired up. She's sticking her head in as far as it'll go. I guess she won't be tainted as long as she doesn't touch anything. Rebel hideout photo added to the court record. Now to search every nook and cranny. Barbed head! Just because it is hard for me to see your every move doesn't... Do not use that as an excuse to touch and break things! I heard you the first time. A large stone slab, shaped like a magatama. Looks rather unstable. I bet it'd tip over in an earthquake. Hmm? What's that earthy grass-like smell? It is the smell of the moss that covers the stone! Oh, so the shaggy green stuff is moss. Hmm? It looks like some of the moss about halfway up has been disturbed. Wonder why that is. One quick touch can't hurt, right? Whoa! The slab's starting to wobble! What is happening? What have you done to the sacred space? No, 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 nothing! All I did was nudge it a little. I knew it looked unstable. Probably best not to touch it again. So, this is the water source that supplies the inner sanctum spring. It flows through a channel built into the floor below before heading outside. Lady Kira uses sac the sacred water to wash the taint of battle from her body. It's also not red like the water in the spring. Oh, but there is what appears to be blood splatter. What's this, a blood stain? Oh, what have you got stabbed back there? I should probably try to figure out what happened here. Jeez. Hmm. Do not tamper with any evidence before the police arrive. The police? Hey, that reminds me. Emma gave me something just for times like this. <gasps> 
The, oh, you, did you give me that? Yes! Oh, she gave me the spray. They confiscated her stuff. Yeah, luminol. Luminol testing fluid glows in reaction to even the tiniest traces of blood. So we can even detect areas where blood has been wiped up. Might help us figure out what happened in here. Okay, time for science to do its thing. First, let me put these uh, red tinted glasses on to see the luminol's glow. Then I just touch wherever I want to spray some of the luminol. Areas where the blood will, where there was blood will react by turning blue. Ah, okay. Th this is a huge blood stain. Something big must have happened here. Perhaps the high priest's blood flowed in from there under the Warbat statue. There was definitely a lot of blood here, but it's impossible to say much else at this point. I'll just take a picture for now. Oh, right. Luminol reactions don't show up in photos. I'll just have to take some notes. Yeah, dude. Okay. That should do it. I didn't notice before, but the bloodstain looks like it was smeared away in one place. Because the Warbad's revolving door passed over it? Ew. Bloodstain. Okay, back to not being red. Weapons, and lots of them too. We are lucky we found them before they could be used. Excellent work, Barbed Head. Oh, uh, thanks. The rebellion ever happens. I hope it's bloodless. Banner. How dare those filthy insurgents raise their banner amidst such a sacred space? Barbed head, you must burn it at once. Um, didn't you tell me not to touch or damage anything? Hmm, this is an exception. Very well, if you will not do it, then I will. But your benevolence, I thought you're not supposed to come in here. Yeah. Yeah. For once, the sta strange customs of this kingdom are working in my favor. Hmm? There's something under the banner. A microphone? What's this doing here? Is someone trying to record something with it? Yeah, they were gonna, uh, they were gonna be live on Twitch with the rebellion. Looks like an order from Dirk. What's this? Let me see that! I thought you're not supposed to touch anything in here. This is an exception! Now hand it over! Let's see here. Hmm. Oh, holy mother! What? What does it say? It is an order intended for that rebel named Dots. It's... Or Dats. It reads, After the right, infiltrate the palace under the guise of returning Lady Kira's costume and search for clues about that incident from 23 years ago. Dirk. 23 years ago? He must mean the assassination of Queen Amara. Wonder what the rebels are up to. It's intriguing and all, but it doesn't seem related to the case at hand. This will not do. I must warn my mother at once. No need to do that. This order will never be carried out. Lady Kira's costume is still here, and Abbot in me is no longer able to aid the rebels. Hmm, I, I knew that. There's a plumed Punisher calendar here. Ah, now I understand. The villains in the plumed Punisher are based on the insurgents. Watching the show must have roused their ire against Lady Kira. Um, I doubt that's it. Look! What is it, Barbed Head? It's a plumed Punisher clock. Why, well, I believe it's... It's a limited edition promotional item given to 50 lucky viewers. This rare item plays the plumed Punisher theme song every hour. H hand it over now, Barbed Head! Ah, she snatched it away from me. No matter what she says, Rafa is definitely a huge fan. Hmm, what a fine item. And this switch... If I'm right...
It's the Plume Punisher theme song. Yes, now I see. The insurgents who use this room must be plumed Punisher fans. That may be so, but I don't see how it's relevant to this case. Well, I think that covers about everything here. Mr. Wright, you shouldn't have come in here before the police. Sorry, but I was in a hurry. I didn't do anything I wasn't supposed to. Our benevolence can attest to that. It is your fault for being so slow. I expect the police to work faster and more efficiently. Uh, sorry. Well, Barbed Head, have you not already seen enough? I guess it's about time I got back to the temple and go over everything I've learned. Thanks, Emma. Temple. temple. May 11th. Temple, temple. Welcome back, Mr. Wright. How did it go? Unfortunately, I didn't find anything conclusive. No way! I do not understand, Barbed Head. What don't you understand? Why you did not commit any misdeeds during your investigation? After all, lawyers ply their trade primarily through illicit means and methods. What? Who told you that? My mother, are you saying she was wrong? No, that cannot be. You must have committed some sort of misdeed right under my nose. If that were so, she wasted her whole day following me around. Hmm? What is it? Prosecutor Sadmadi has need of me. What's going on? I must go perform a divination seance for... Beret's a lot. It is our custom for the prosecution to review its contents before a trial begins. I see. I don't know, that seems kind of bullshit. The third time will be the charm. My insights will finally bring you to your knees tomorrow. And I will teach that neophyte practitioner a lesson. Looks like the royal priestess is back with a vengeance. She's made a full recovery from when we started the investigation earlier today. I look forward to seeing you in court, your benevolence. Hmm. Your overconfidence will be your downfall. You will not look so confident when I am finished with you tomorrow. Dang, everybody just wants Phoenix to go down. Actually, I'm not really looking forward to seeing her tomorrow. Especially without any solid evidence. Why don't we go over everything you know so far? All right, hmm, let's see here. Uh, Acolyte Zealot, or is, yeah, Zealot, was killed during the riot with Lady Kira's deck. And Maya's fingerprints were found on it. That doesn't sound very good. I know, it's the very definition of being up a creek without a paddle. The day before his murder, Zealot enjoyed a meal with the High Priest, his wife, and Maya. I also learned about a spirit channeling here in Korain. None of that sounds very helpful. Oh, but I did hear something interesting, that the rebel hunting Lady Kira might be working for the Justice Minister. What? Really? Our kingdom is supposed to be ruled through faith and laws. We can't allow people to be controlled by fear and violence. I'll be, that sounds like something a rebel might say. It, it, it does. But if that Lady Kira really is one of the Minister Inga's subordinates, that would exonerate Miss Maya. Unfortunately, I have no way of proving it in court. Oh, that's too bad. I almost forgot about the secret rebel hideout we found at the Inner Sanctum. There was blood stain. There was a blood stain inside, but I don't know if or how it's connected to this case, though. Wow, a secret room at the Inner Sanctum? That would be a huge hit with tourists. This kid really is an entrepreneur at heart. Uh, what I mean is that hideout could be important to your case. <laughs> 
Perhaps, but it's still too early to tell. Ugh. Looks like I'm heading into court without any useful evidence. We'll just have to pray something appears during tomorrow's trial. Princess Rafa's divination sense might be my only hope. There could be some new information in it that might help. The, the divination seance? But I thought it always works against the accused. Not always. Yeah, because, yeah, it used to just be something we used to find the truth. Really? I never heard anyone say that before. It's hard to figure you out sometimes, sir. Divination Seance has worked both ways before the Defense Culpability Act. Only now that the people of Korain find it strange. Um, Mr. Wright, I just wanted to say, good luck tomorrow. Thanks. I can't afford to lose this next one. I've collected all sorts of information, but I haven't even started connecting the dots. If I could do that, I might have a shot at pulling off a win. Rafa's insights will be the deciding factor. It's a huge gamble, but it's all I got. Oh, boy. Okay. Save game, yes. Dang, guys, we made it. On to trial day two.